What's up, y'all? I'm Akosi Tafara, and this is my closet. I feel like, I mean, the first word that came to mind was expressive. I like to express myself through my clothing. Um, just, yeah, head to toe in any way that I can, whether that just be the jewelry, the, the hair, even once I got past doing my hair, I was like, ah, yeah, maybe nails or piercings, whatever it may be. Um, but I feel like it would be very expressive. I think it's out there, but it's not crazy. Maybe, I don't know. Being in New York was like always, it was always like a subconscious thing. You just always kind of see people um, dressing up in a certain way. I also think my mother had a, a good influence on it. A lot of the things that she wore um, albeit whether it was for work maybe, or whenever she was like, yeah, singing, or just she would wear cool leather jackets and things. And then my brother also, uh, being older than me, he was into fashion as well. So it was kind of always around me. Um, but we all have our own take on it. Like my mother, my brother, myself, we all dress in our own different ways. Um, and then I started to just get more comfortable with it throughout the years. Certainly you need like money. Um, so then, when I was shopping at like TJ Maxx and things going for like back to school shopping, it was an enjoyable challenge um, to try and make X amount of dollars last with a certain amount of locations. Uh, and then as I got older, I still had that same knowledge even when I was in college and bars, wow, I love that. Um, or anything else in high school as well, just trying to find pieces for little to no money, um, but have an abundance of pieces. And we will, yeah, see that I have quite an abundance of pieces. Um, so this one, I've worn this recently. We, uh, we have that fit. The, the timing of it really worked out well. I had ordered it. I have a few others of these that you may see uh, down the line. Um, really love this brand. Shout out to them, House of Errors. You're gonna hear a lot of shout outs. Hopefully they just recyclate that back to me and really wanna just give these to me for little to no money. That'd be great. This came in like a few days or almost on the day of that Germany was playing in the Euro. Uh, so then it kind of just, it was like, yeah. I don't always plan out my fits. More times than not, I actually don't. And then it's just like chaos on game day or just the day before. Um, but this one kind of, yeah, it just planned itself. The colors were great, um, very easy to work with. Um, and I really liked it, like the knit, the pattern, it's, it's heavy, it's, it's, it's bulky, but it's also nothing too crazy. And you could wear it in a, in a couple of seasons. So yeah, one of the things that I really enjoy, it's really, really comfortable. Okay. So this one is, yeah, this is one of my all time, all time favorites. Uh, I don't remember how long I've had it. It's only been maybe two years, give or take, but the the fabric on this it's it's absolutely immaculate and it's ever it's like ah man you know if you never really do want to bring a jacket but you're like i don't want to bring a too heavy this is this the perfect piece for any type of anything that you need uh and it blends well i you'll just bleep it but the brand's name is awesome uh so go ahead and do what you got to do there um but I love them. I have so many pieces from them, a lot. I've done some shoots and a few things. Um, and I like to find things that a lot of people aren't wearing. A lot of what I'm gonna show you today isn't really, it's designer, because everyone is indeed a designer, but uh, it's not like luxury designers. I like to be different. Um, but I think if you're watching this, you know that. So I'll just do research on that and then one thing leads to another, leads to another. I'll find a name and I'll be like, oh, okay, Reese Cooper. And I'll, then I'll start doing research on Reese Cooper. Then that'll lead me to awesome. Leave it again, that'd be great. Uh, then that'll lead me to House of Errors there in New York. But one of my favorite brands, I'll probably show you, it might be my all time favorite, it's Fried Rice. That one I was just in off season 2021. Walking the streets in New York, uh, down on Mulberry, I was actually supposed to be headed to Prince Street Pizza and then the ALD store. Um, and yeah, I'm just gazing, gazing, as I always do, just very detailed with about anything that I do. Um, and they had this, like, it was also like a mohair, 
Yo, it was the craziest thing. They had this like mohair rainbow from like head to toe kind of coat. Imagine this, but like thicker. And then it was like stripes of mohair down. Um, and it was just the type of piece that you stop. And if you are anybody, you, you should go in and look. Even if you don't buy anything, even if it's not for you. It was like, they knew what they were doing, putting that piece right there. Um, and then I went in there and gave them a lot of my dollars. And like, they, they just... The detail that they were putting into the clothing, it was it was effortlessly beautiful, but just like so much care. Um, so yeah, I'll show you a few pieces. Of, I'll show, probably show you my favorite piece from them, actually, because um, it's just the all-time greatest. On the topic of fried rice, my all-time favorite brand, uh, this is my winter closet. Um, this is just very simply my... Probably, I think, just like my all-time favorite piece of clothing I think I actually have. Like, I'm gonna put this on. Like, this is just, like, I'm about to just put this on. Um, so it's reversible. Uh, I'll tell you how much I got it for, just so you can really, really understand. Uh, so it's $500, but it's reversible. So, you know, quick math, 250. Um, and then it's just like, it's gonna look like this. And I don't really think you like understand how hard this is, but this is pretty crazy. Um, and the patchwork is just outrageous. And then the fur on the inside is is great for the winter. But then you know you you know you flip this bad boy around just in case you gotta flip this bad boy around. And the next thing you know, it's just like like the jacket just got hard, and it's just like I don't know, it's just crazy, like. So yeah, when, you, when you're walking down the street and you're going somewhere and then you see items like this, this is why you always keep a little bit of extra money in, in, in the debit because you need pieces like this. You need them. So obviously, yes, this is a bag. Um, I really love this bag for all of its just uniqueness. It's very small, but it fits perfectly like an iPad, a few chargers, a couple snacks, anything you really need to. Um, and this was a, another situation. I was in Europe, specifically Belgium, where I got this one, just browsing the streets, Googling uh, best thrift stores that you could go to in Belgium. I mainly went there because they had the, I think one of the most historical universities in the world for fashion in, in Antwerp. So when I was there, I wanted to just figure out what it was all about. And one of the thrift stores that I had went into had this bag and it was, yeah, it was just one of those pieces that the, like this color of a red, whatever you might think it is, and then the gold and then just how they all dangle. Um, I really like it. It's just one of my favorite pieces, simple, but very effective. We can show you this. Um, okay, so quick story and then back to the black. Bought this bag in Milan from a man who is now a very good friend of mine. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Ambreus Milano was the name of the store, another thrift store. Um, when I got there, I just started thrifting all throughout uh, the cities in Europe that I was in. Um, and I didn't really have space. So I made space. It, it was, I just stuffed things in it, stuffed it in another bag, um, and then put it on the flight back with me. But back to the topic of how accessories can really help boost the fit. If I was just to be wearing an all black suit, it would look really, really nice. But if I'm wearing that all black suit and I have these loafers on with this black chain, and then I also, I mean, with this gold chain, and then I also have this bag, with these golds. Then you maybe put like a gold chain on, gold earrings like I also like to wear. Um, it also pops very well with my skin. So yeah, I only really wear gold now. That's kind of, that's kind of the vibe. Oh, hello little man, hello little man. So yeah, accessories are very important for the fit. Um, so a lot of my favorite pieces, uh, funny enough, are actually winter pieces or fall pieces 
I really like to layer most of my fits. I think it's hard to dress just for the summer because you can't really accessorize as much as you would like to. Here's a pair of pants that, I haven't even worn these to a game day just because you know we take pictures from the front on game day so they would look like this. But these pants are very nice, but I mean, you just, you know. Um, these are like, slowly became one of my all time favorite pair of pants. Just like, I mean, the, the stitch work that House of Errors puts in is, is pretty magnificent and they flex it. Like, they talk about the amount of stitches they put in a hoodie or their pants, and as they should, because this is, this is really crazy. For inspo, no one in particular. I think it's more kind of just what crosses my eyes, what comes across my spectrum. Um, I, I do a lot of research. I think there's a lot of other athletes and fashion inspo now, so it's easy to just see a wide spectrum. Like, and you just, if you're on Instagram um, and a certain page, like everyone's like reposting fits now. So it's easy to just see a lot of other fits and you can see how people put certain things together. Um, but there's no one person where I'm like, hmm. But you do, yeah, start to take small things from other people. Um, like I'll talk with Seb all the time about different things. I mean, work with roommates. Maybe I'll see like some of the rings he has. I'm like, oh, yeah, what brand is that? Or I'll be wearing like a shirt. And i be like, oh, okay, I've heard of that brand. But actually, the shirt looks nicer in person than what I maybe thought it was. Um, if anything, I think, yeah, when I was younger, there might have been a few people that like subconsciously had influence. Like my mother was a very big Prince fan. Um, I think that plays a huge role in how I present myself. Um, and yeah, my closet is kind of, kind of, it's like a runway in a sense, but also just like, just like a clown show to another extent. Like I have very important pieces, but I also have just like costumes and such a strange different varieties of things. Um, so this is a Cardi that I've got recently. At first when I got it, I didn't really love it. Um, but this showed up on the same day of the game that I wore it to. And I was like, okay, I'll just wear it, see how it is. Like I didn't have another fit planned. And I was like, well, this is pretty fine. Um, and it looked much better when I actually wore it and it's actually begun to grow on me. They have a bag that I bought that is coming and when I finally get it, it will probably be the hottest fit that I've worn to date. Um, so yeah, the brand is Mutsu by Perspective Flow for any of you people. I'm not really one of those gatekeepers. Um, I believe anyone is allowed to wear whatever they would like. Just try and wear it better than the next person. I don't know, you know. If I have any bit of a stylist, I would say it's my girlfriend. She's standing right here behind the camera, giggling if we can all hear her. Um, but yeah, I've never worked with a stylist. That was like my, not my claim to fame. I have a few claim to fame that I only claim. But I was just like, ah, I don't, yeah, like it all just, it all just comes from up here. Like same way I was dressing at a younger age, but I do understand why people do have stylists, I'm not shaming them. I would just never dare. Um, but then, yeah, we put each other's fits together. She began helping me with a lot of them uh, when she came out here. Um, put me on to a few different brands. And then I've shown her a couple of different brands. So we have a good balance. Her style is much different from mine. I think she likes to wear a little bit of darker things from time to time. Um, I'm more of a colorful, showy in little bits and senses as I wear all black. Let me see what other couple pieces we can, we can throw around here. So this probably isn't even my favorite piece by him. I'm actually wearing uh, his shoes as well. This is a fine gentleman who I hope to wish uh, to meet someday from France, I believe Marseille. Um, bars again, man, that's crazy. He makes incredible, incredible detailed clothing. Um, and this jacket, 
I remember how I, okay, so how I found his brand. I was on Twitter, I think it was 2020, 2021. Um, and he made these shoes, anime shoes, um, as we were just all talking earlier. One piece oriented and I saw them and I remember I searched for them for three days on Twitter to find them. Um, and this was, I think, it was the first thing that I had ever seen that he had. I've still never worn them to a game day because I just haven't. It had, oh yeah, they're not ready yet. Like, they're just not ready yet. Um, but I will say this, the shoes have swords in them. So just, you know, be ready for that when I break them out. But uh, yeah, he's been like, I feel like, like I've been watching him grow as an artist, that is, it's incredible. Like the things he does now, it's just like, yeah, he's kind of got the game on lock. Um, so I like European styles and bringing them. I hope to get over to Asia, Japan. Um, I also hear there's great things in South Korea as well in ways of fashion. So I like, yeah, branching out, bringing things in and just kind of seeing where like my brain could take me. But this jacket, I definitely love. Um, it's just like, yeah, like a spider star. Like, I don't know, but it's super warm. It's great. Fits great. Like, you put it over a black hoodie. <sighs> Doing something. Uh, okay, so I have a, I've showed you a piece from Milan. I have something from Paris. I bought something in Belgium. This was all in, like, the one vacation that I went there over, like, the 14 days. Um, and then I have a lot of things from thrift stores across America. So this was one of the brands uh, that I had found. It's called La Femme. Um, yeah, I was really only traveling to Europe just for fashion, food, and I was also doing it during the World Cup, trying to go to all the countries that were playing at the same time that they were playing. So I ended up in Amsterdam when Netherlands played Argentina. Unbelievable experience. Um, and this brand was just like right down the block. I love how Amsterdam is very tiny. You just get to everywhere, all in very simple, simple ways. Little boats and everyone takes a bike. It's, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, this jacket is also incredible. I love it. I love what it can offer. Um, and this was one of the brands that I had definitely brought back with me. Um, and I have some pants from them, a couple other things. But yeah, this one, this one was a really, really cool piece that I had found. I feel like I could show you maybe some shoes, maybe a hat or two. Okay. I must have this hat. I like this hat. Um, so this is a hat that I had got from ALD. I really like this hat uh, for a lot of ways. It's I like dressing from different time zones in any way that I can, whether it's like being an old school baseball player or trying to dress like Sherlock Holmes or a superhero, anything randomly. I like just the challenge of it. Um, but this hat is very versatile, so it can be worn. I mean, I'll just, I'll just show you since we're here. It can be worn like this. Just saying, you know, cool, clean, sleek. It's like, oh, wait a minute, is it chilly outside? Don't worry, it's all right, don't, it's, it's okay. And then, you know, you bust up the things right here. But it's like, oh man, what if I had a big old afro under this hat right now? Bang, bust that down. Look at all this space. Are you seeing this magic right now that I'm doing? So there's a lot of things that we could do with a thing like this, um, which is largely wild. And like, the pattern is great. It's, you don't see people rocking this no more. Like, you just don't. Um, so I really enjoy, really, really enjoy this hat. I gotta find a pair of shoes that I can show you guys. Uh, uh, you know what my black loafers are? Darn, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. You've been featured. Um, they're not clean, but that's how my life is. Um, so these I had bought from Macy's. 90 dollars they are stupendous they are delightful they look elegant and they actually have like gel they came with like gel comfort orthotics on the inside that are like airy and comes it's like unbelievable I was just, so you know i'm not saying you don't need 1200 dollar dior loafers but i am saying think about what you could do with the other 1100 if you bought these 
that's that's just what we're gonna leave that um, and to show you one last piece of all pieces I guess in ways of importance I can show you I have this one pair of black pants I bought in New York after I think this was probably 2020 2021 um, it was one of the first things that I had got that kind of started to elevate my game. I was thrifting back on vacation sometime December. Bought these for $80. They are unbelievable. They are just unbelievable. Um, you need, like I have, I have statement pieces, right? but you, you can't wear graffiti pink pants every day. Like you, you literally look like a clown. Um, you need things like this. You need your essentials. Uh, and when I seen these pair of pants, it was just, yeah. And then when I seen the pair, like the price, I was like, oh my gosh, this is outrageous, yeah. Um, they're perfect. Um, and also, they were the first pair of like corduroy pants I had. So I was trying to upgrade like my pant game um, in ways of style, design, but fabric. You upgrade the pant game through the fabric. That's when you change the pant game. So I hope we've all enjoyed all of the pieces that we've seen. There are so many more that you'll probably see along the years, maybe, I don't know who's to say. And since we're here, if anyone would like a stylist, you know where to find me. Hmm. <laughs>